Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Ali Mahdoumi, and now I'm going to present our paper on revenue maximization under unknown private values with non-obligatory inspection. And this is a joint work with Said Alloy and Azarash Malikian. So what is the, the motivation of this work? In many auctions, buyers do not have full information about their values, and uh, they can inspect the item and learn their values at a cost. Uh, so the seller or the auctioneer in these settings designs allocation payment as, as usual, but in addition to this, can also subsidize the inspection cost. Uh, so what are some examples? So for instance, many major department stores and, and retailers uh, send out free samples of their products to potential buyers so that they can learn their values and potentially purchase the product. So think about the inspection cost as the cost of free samples sent by retailers, the, the cost of having an open house in selling a house, or reimbursement of traveling costs in selling a painting, for instance. And the question we ask in this paper is, what is the approximately optimal selling mechanism? So in particular, uh, we consider the problem of selling K items to end unit demand buyers with the goal of maximizing revenue. Uh, the buyer's values are independently drawn um, and their values are going to be unknown to themselves, but they can inspect the item and learn their value. So inspection is going to be costly. And the auctioneer can subsidize the inspection costs or, or you know, pay for part of the inspection cost. In our setting, selling the item is not contingent on the inspection, meaning the inspection is non-obligatory. Therefore, you know, if you're familiar with the Weizmann Pandora problem, we can view our problem as a revenue maximizing variant of Pandora problem with non-obligatory inspection. So that's the setting. And for this setting, we present an approximate mechanism that achieves one minus one over root of K plus three of the optimal revenue for any number of buyers and K items. And our proposed mechanism is going to be sequential and it's going to work in an online setting where buyers arrive in an uh, you know, arbitrary and unknown order. Uh, so let me uh, now tell you the, the model in, in more detail. Uh, so we consider N buyers represented by one to N. Buyer I is going to have a value TI, which is drawn independently. And for uh, simplicity, I'm going to assume that the distribution of types satisfy regularity condition. Buyer I does not know her value and can pay an inspection cost C sub i to privately learn her value. So if the inspection cost is paid by either the buyer or the seller, the buyer will learn her value, but like the, the auctioneer still does not know the value. Uh, but the auctioneer can subsidize the inspection cost and therefore it faces a trade-off here. So the trade-off is between paying for the inspection cost and then offering a potentially high price in case the buyer's value is high, or offering the item at a lower price without paying the inspection cost. Again, think about selling a painting, for instance, and, and reimbursing the traveling cost of the buyer to inspect the painting that you have for sale, or paying for free samples in selling a perfume, for instance. Uh, so the auctioneer is going to have K items, and the goal is to maximize the expected revenue. Now, you may say, you know, the examples you're talking about are different in whether the auctioneer controls inspection or not. So what do I mean by that? So, for example, in selling a painting, the auctioneer has control over the inspection and can allow it or not. But in the example of selling a perfume, one can try a perfume by herself, so the auctioneer does not really control inspection there. So motivated by this, we consider two complementary settings. Uh, in both settings, the auctioneer designs allocation and payment and a subsidy for the inspection cost. In the first setting, the auctioneer controls inspection, and in the, the second setting, it does not. It cannot control uh, or, or observe the inspection. 
So now, given this, this model, uh, here are our main results. So we first provide an upper bound on the revenue of any mechanism in terms of single buyer problems. And this is going to enable a reduction from the multi-buyer problem to a single buyer problem. So what is a single buyer problem? It is going to be finding the optimal mechanism for a single buyer subject to an upper bound on the ex-ante allocation probability. So we're going to fully solve this, this problem uh, and characterize the optimal single buyer mechanism. We then turn to our main problem, approximating the optimal mechanism for any number of buyers and, and any number of items. Uh, so here we solve for a single item and multiple items separately because they they require different techniques. So for a single item, we propose a policy that achieves half of the optimal revenue. The analysis here is going to build on profit inequality and the policy works in an online setting where the buyers are arriving uh, you know, with, a, with an arbitrary and unknown order. Um, and for K items, we propose a policy that achieves one minus one over root of K plus three of the optimal revenue. Uh, and the analysis here is going to build on magician problem. And again, it works in an online setting. And you know, as you can see, when the number of items K grow, our policy becomes approximately uh, optimal. So our work relates to two line of works, one on mechanism design with costly information, uh, with costly information acquisition, um, and the other one on Pandora problem and more broadly uh, dynamic stochastic uh, optimization and its applications. And I should highlight that the list of papers you see here is by, by no means complete. And you know, in the interest of, of time, let me not go to the detail of these papers. So let me start with upper bounding the, the optimal revenue in terms of single buyer problems. Uh, so the optimal revenue denoted by opt is upper bounded by the solution of this convex optimization that we see on this slide. So what is this optimization? So Ri of Xi is going to be the optimal revenue from selling to buyer I when the ex ante allocation probability is Xi. Now with this definition of Ri, the objective is the sum of revenue of single buyer problems. And the constraints is that the sum of ex ante allocation probabilities that must be less than the number of items, which is k here. So this is like a very simple lemma, but it's very important in our analysis because it's going to enable a reduction from the multi-buyer problem to a single buyer problem. So what do I mean by that? So if we can design a mechanism uh, that for each buyer i, achieves Ri or a good approximation of it, then we can achieve a good approximation of this upper bound and therefore the optimal revenue. But this requires solving the single buyer mechanism. So now, you know, let's, let's, let's talk about that. Uh, so again, what is the single buyer mechanism? For any buyer I, the problem is to find the optimal mechanism for buyer I subject to an upper bound on the ex ante allocation probability. So how can we think about this problem? So by revelation principle, the auctioneer's problem becomes this optimization problem that we see here. Um, so here Q is going to be the inspection probability, Xn and Pn are allocation and payment without inspection, Xi and Pi are the allocation and payment mapping functions with inspection. Those are you know, mappings from the, the report type. So this looks like a complicated you know, uh, functional optimization. Unlike the classical mechanism design, this is not linear. So it's going to be quadratic, in fact. Uh, however, after you know, massaging this a bit, we, we solve it optimally uh, and show that the optimal mechanism can be implemented by charging an entry fee and probabilistically offering one of two prices. Uh, so let me let me formally state this. So here is the optimal single buyer mechanism for any upper bound on the ex ante allocation probability xi. Uh, so we charge an entry fee that you know depends on xi, of course, 
we then have an internal randomization, and depending on the outcome, either allow inspection and post the price for it, do not allow inspection and post the price, or finally do not offer the item at all. So now, given the, the optimal solution of the single buyer problem, uh, how can we approximately you know, solve the multi-buyer problem? Uh, so le le let me uh, here first consider selling a single item for you know, illustration purpose. The result for multiple items, for K items, is going to cover this case as well. But I think this is useful uh, to understand this, the setting and the results. So for now, I'm going to consider single item and you know, multiple buyers. Um, all right, so we have a single item using the upper bound. Uh, what we need is a uniform bound on offering probability to each one of these buyers. Um, and for that, we're going to build on the analysis of, of profit inequality. So what do I mean by that? So here is our proposed mechanism. Find the solution of the upper bound, this, this convex optimization that we talked about. Let me denote it by x1 star up to xn star. Now, given this solution, sequentially go over the buyers. Once you get to buyer I with some probability that comes from the analysis of profit inequality, run the single buyer mechanism that we just characterized with X I star as the upper bound on the ex ante allocation probability. And once you do that, here is our result. So this mechanism is going to achieve half of the optimal revenue. And a key observation here is, and a key observation here is this uh, mechanism is, is sequential and it works in an online setting where buyers arrive over time with an unknown order. So this mechanism still achieves one half of the uh, optimal revenue of the uh, offline benchmark. So for now, we considered you know, a single item and multiple buyers, but now let's, let's talk about selling K items. So how can we do that? Um, so the main difficulty in, in selling K items is that we need to find some probability of offering to each one of the buyers such that the minimum ex ante offering probability is uniformly bounded from below. So we had this before, and, and we used profit inequality for that. Uh, so here it is different because we have multiple items, and this offering probability must depend on how many items are remaining or how many items are sold. Uh, so what do we do? So our analysis here builds on magician problem. Now, you know, let me tell you at a very high level what it does. Uh, so it's going to take gamma equal to one minus one over root of k plus three and x1 up to xn as, as input. It's going to run a dynamic programming and output pi of i and l, which is going to be the offering probability to buyer i when l items are sold. So if we go with this, then we're going to have some guarantee in terms of the minimum offering probability to each one of the to each one of the buyers. So now using this, here is our proposed policy for selling K items. So we first solve the upper bound, this convex optimization, and get X1 star up to Xn star. We use the magician dynamic programming to get the offering probabilities, pi i, uh, pi of i and l. Now using these probabilities, we go over the buyer sequentially and probabilistically run our optimal single buyer mechanism. And our result here is that this mechanism achieves one minus one over root k plus three of the optimal mechanism. Uh, so, so far we focused on a setting in which the auctioneer can control the inspection. Now, uh, let's consider a complementary setting where the auctioneer cannot control or observe the inspection. So, for example, selling a perfume. So the buyer can still inspect the item, but 
since since the auctioneer does not control and and does not observe inspection, uh, the buyer may not truthfully report inspection. So the auctioneer's problem, if you think about it, is going to be uh, harder here in that sense. Uh, so how can we approach this this setting? Um, again, we can upper bound the optimal revenue by sum of revenue of single buyer problems. And this is going to enable a reduction from multiple buyer setting to single buyer setting. But then again, we need to solve the single buyer problem. So how do we do that? So here's the, the single buyer problem in, in, in this setting. Um, again, we're going to maximize uh, revenue subject to an, an upper bound on the ex ante allocation problem. So this is similar to the previous formulation, uh, but with two very important additions. So these highlighted constraints here, uh, they're going to be you know, the incentive constraints for truthful reporting of inspection itself. Uh, and why do we have those? Because here the auctioneer does not observe inspection. So we need to have you know, additional constraints to ensure that is, uh, you know, reporting inspection itself is truthful. Um, so these additional constraints suggest that the auctioneer's problem is now is now harder. Uh, so what is the optimal mechanism in this setting? Uh, so here is the the optimal mechanism, and it's actually different from what we saw before. Uh, so here there are two cases. If the expectation of positive part of value minus its expectation is below the inspection cost then it is not optimal to inspect. And you know, if you're familiar with Pandora rule, this is somewhat similar to that. Otherwise, if the expectation is below the inspection cost, then the optimal mechanism is to probabilistically offer one of two prices or not offer at all. So now, given this uh, characterization, uh, of the of the optimal single buyer mechanism, the same algorithm as before, as you know, the, as in the previous setting, achieves one minus one over root of k plus three of the optimal revenue. So let me let me conclude here. So we consider the problem of selling k items to n buyers with the goal of maximizing revenue. The buyers' values are unknown, but they can inspect the item at the cost and learn their values. And we characterize the single buyer mechanism optimally, and that enabled a reduction from multiple buyer problem to single buyer problem. And for k items, we propose the mechanism that achieves one minus one over root k plus three of the optimal revenue. Uh, and our mechanism is sequential and works in an online setting where the buyers arrive in an unknown and arbitrary order. And by that, let me thank you again for tuning in.